In less than a week, Canadians will have the chance to vote in a federal election. While the party's positions on cannabis have been known for some time, the newly released platforms provide a little more insight into how the nation's cannabis laws could be reformed, or how the war on the plant could be amplified. Touting the most progressive cannabis policy, the Liberal Party devoted a page of its platform to the plant. In it, the party promises to legalize, regulate, and restrict access to cannabis, a strategy they say will ensure that we keep marijuana out of the hands of children and the profits out of the hands of criminals. To reach this goal, the Liberals will remove marijuana consumption and incidental possession from the criminal code and create new, stronger laws to punish more severely those who provide it to minors, those who operate a motor vehicle while under its influence, and those who sell it outside of the new regulatory framework. As for how the supply of cannabis will be dealt with, the Liberals say they will create a federal, provincial, and territorial task force, and with input from experts in public health, substance abuse, and law enforcement, will design a new system of strict marijuana sales and distribution, with appropriate federal and provincial excise taxes applied. While cannabis will be taxed under the Liberal plan, no revenue from its sale is assumed in the party's platform. Some experts estimate the government could collect about $3 billion a year from legalized cannabis. The Green Party, which also supports legalization, counts on $5 billion per year from cannabis tax revenue in its platform. According to Liberal candidate John McCallum, there will likely be some revenue, but it's a bit speculative as to precisely how much. So we are being super prudent in booking nothing at all. On the other side of the political spectrum, the Conservative Party says it's committed to keeping cannabis illegal. The party's platform includes a three-page national anti-drug strategy, among other criminal justice policies. The Conservative platform boasts of the party's toughened penalties for drug crimes, including mandatory minimum sentences, increased resources for law enforcement and justice officials to investigate drug crimes and prosecute offenders, efforts to raise awareness of the dangers of drug use, and significant support for treatment to help people who've fallen prey to addiction. Going forward, the Conservatives promise to create a national toll-free helpline to provide parents with advice and guidance about drugs, and increase RCMP funding to target drug labs, grow ops, and organized crime. Of course, the Conservative platform also condemns the Liberal proposal to legalize cannabis, saying Justin Trudeau's only criminal justice priority is to change the law to allow the sale of marijuana in corner stores making it more accessible to our children. It also accuses the Liberals and NDP of making excuses for criminals and thinking incarceration is rarely warranted. Finally, the new Democratic Party's platform contains only a single line about cannabis. It reiterates that the NDP will immediately decriminalize possession of personal amounts of marijuana. It doesn't mention whether this includes a ticketing scheme, however. For those hoping to see an end to cannabis prohibition in Canada after the federal election, the choice is clear. Only the Liberal Party has the will and public support necessary to get it done. While the NDP supports decriminalization, the policy doesn't address supply, leaving the market in criminal control. With the Liberal Party currently sitting at first place in the polls, there is a very real possibility that cannabis could soon be legal in Canada.